Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is uh, DJ on our interview project. Uh, this time we had Jay Linjing, artist from China. Uh, a very honorable, honorable her. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Thank you. Thank you for your inviting. Thank you. Hi. Yeah, hi, everyone. I'm Jay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, let me introduce like to Jay. Mm -hmm. uh, from my viewpoint, uh, Jay, uh, she uh, like attend labs time in Dijana project, even virtual, and in like physical events when she was in New York. Like, now she live in China, right? Yeah. I'm in Shanghai right Shanghai, now. Shanghai, right? Shanghai. Uh, yeah. And we, I actually remember we met almost, I don't know, like four or five years before, maybe, yeah, like, like that. Well, I thought we met at, uh, uh, in 2018. 18? Like, uh, yeah, 18? Yeah, once I graduated from SBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw yeah. your work at, at the SBA in New York. Yeah. Graduate. Yes. Exhibition. Yeah. And I like really vividly remember your artwork is maybe the most biggest artwork in the <laughs> exhibition, maybe I think. And yeah, and looks really like of course big and looks very really speciality they have like 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 ballroom cube, right? Like huge ball. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah the bubble room. room. Yeah, yeah bubble room there, and but still inside, like like digital concept, like going like mm -hmm. people like yeah. like weird like VR mask inside, and like so, oh, what's mm -hmm. going on? Like there are people and like, really cool and like. Could you introduce yourself? Like yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I'm Jay, and I'm from China, and I was graduated from SBA. Uh, photo, uh, I'm a photography, video, and reality media program. And my undergraduate was uh, in China from China Academy of Art, major in multimedia art. Mm -hmm. So I was like, basically, I start to um, learning art when I was very young, like around seven or eight years old. I start to learning drawing and painting. Then I like continue all the way to the art world and uh, like until now and also definitely will continue um go to more deeper in the future in art so like um, my media is um include a lot of my like my art include a lot of media like uh, video photography installation and performance and digital art and like multimedia. So for now I'm mostly doing multimedia, like combine everything together to um, express my concept. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, um, yeah, I graduated uh, in 2018 from SPA, then I uh, stay in New York for two more years. And then in 2020, uh, I because the COVID nineteen, I have to come back in China. So now I'm living in Shanghai. Yeah, you got it. You know what? Like, uh, uh, there's some point why I really have interest of yourself and your artwork. Mm -hmm. Is uh, there's many points, but one of the like reason is first, I've never had a Chinese friends in my life, basically. So really? Like, really, yeah, really, really, yeah, seriously. So almost yeah. that is the first time I met like a Chinese friend and artist. Mm -hmm. Like in my life in New York is really just just for me it's really special for me and so and even that like uh we have a like you know like same co concept and like same interest in about like digital art you know so and also you know like i got really interesting and also i want to ask you about like what i'm not knowing about you know 
maybe you know a lot of concept inside your nationality and like how digital, you know, like, you know, like, uh, like a lot of concept, your like gender, whatever, like nationality, every, like your original philosophy, like they, everything connects. So like, I always want to ask, and also I want to, you know, like learn about what China, the situation is going on. I have no idea, like what's going on. Like I, I spent a, a, almost just year in, in only New York. So I want to learn about the, yeah, it's a lot of things. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for coming again. Yeah, actually. Um, so, uh, can I ask first, like, why, like, did you try to come New York first time? Like, what what makes you come uh, to New York first? Time? Yeah, I came to New York first time, uh, just for study. Because I already graduated from undergraduate in China, and and I want to learn more things, uh, and I want to see new things which we cannot see in China. Like there, the like in China and in New York, there are different se education system. I want to like accept more, um, like uh, more possibility in the art world and learn more things which I cannot learn in China. And uh, also I'm interested in Western culture. So I want to do something like combine, combining Chinese culture and the Western culture together. Mm -hmm. So that's why the first time I came to New York. And I love New York because the, it's the, like this, the crazy, it's the most crazy city in the world. Really? I want to see. So? I, 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 yeah, I think like, mm, like uh, in China, like Shanghai is the most, um, mm, Shanghai, Shanghai is, I think Shanghai is the only one city which are uh, very similar to New York. But, but I think it, there is still something different. Like I never go abroad, uh, no, I never go to America when I, uh, before my first came to New York. Mm. So like the first choice for me in stay in, American is New York. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, like, uh, for me, how to say, I never been to China in my life. Mm -hmm. I only mm -hmm. spent like Korea and Japan. But mm -hmm. uh, for me, like, but first, I don't want to like make offset this 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 video viewer maybe some americans guys maybe see this video okay. but this is my opinion from asian mm -hmm. guy come to new york you know when i first came to new york i'm little bit shocked because of like less fascinated than i thought this is my mm. opinion. like when i visit times square like i think what like Times Square is a little smaller than I saw, <laughs> and like yeah. I see the like subway system. What mm -hmm. like this system is so old system? You know, like in Korea or Japan is more like digital technology inside everything. Like they never use or like car like MTA like like car slash machine. They yeah, yeah. Phone or whatever like that, that really digital technology everywhere. So you know, so. And yeah, I, I got also, the, yeah, like, I also the hear nowadays China is really technology like like we grow up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We, we, yeah, in China we can only take a phone out and we can yeah, do I everything. Really, yeah. Really interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like in, uh like for the normal life, I think China is more advanced. But like in the art world, maybe we can like I can see the newest thing uh, updating in New York. Really? Like, yeah, yeah. The like uh, the things going on. What was what, the newest thing going on in art or in fashion? I think it's more uh, like updated faster than updating in China. Really? Yeah, like for the worldwide thing. Like, like, so. For me, it's like, uh, like you say, why the reason why you come 
like came to America or New York is learn to like Western thing, right? But yeah. what you did in like especially your SBA graduation like exhibition is is beyond the like Western or like Asian culture, it's the, like more technology thing, like digital like futurized thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. like, so like there is still a little bit question thing is like still I'm thinking so but still you know you, like if you really want to like digital technology things or artworks mm. but still why you come to like like New York you know like and also is there any health thing like exactly health thing for you to make that you know the work like experience you got in western like society or like new york is there any like experience you got like, yeah like um i actually have the um, like the first work i made after i came to new york is the uh is the the work about identity because once i came to new york i feel I feel uh, culture shocked, and I feel um, I am not the how say I I cannot find my own identity in a uh, like totally unfamiliar uh, environment. Like mm -hmm. uh, I I was I was local in China, but once I came to New York, I am a foreigner here. So I made a project uh, called Potatoes. Oh, I, I choose a lot. Yeah, I I choose a lot of ID photo from people, and I remove their face and put a loading sign on their face. I love that. And yeah, yeah. So that's um, that's what I want to express. Is I cannot. I I feel like um, I I I feel that I'm outsider of the in the in the new environment mm. of New York mm. of in in America. Mm. And I try to find if someone else feels the same thing. And so I choose um, a lot bunch of the people's ID photos to like loading, because um, the, the loading sign uh, represents um, everything is unconcerned. So like our face is, is everybody's a sign to represent mm. everyone. Mm. So if I remove the face, we cannot if uh we cannot rec re we cannot recognize mm -hmm. who is who is who. Yeah. Like who who am I? Who are you? Yeah. So yeah, that's the yeah that's the experience, like taking me to do the, mm. the project. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I totally understand. Like what's mm -hmm. Especially in you know Western society, yeah, right? like our, yeah, yeah. Especially like Asian people is like still minority kind of you know. So like, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. how about oh, uh, there is a lot of like questions I want to ask. So let's <laughs> let's do or like one by one. Let's do let's let's see yeah. like first your artwork first. All right. And then mm -hmm. we can talk about, you know, like art world things and like what is differences between China and like New York and, and later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's going to be uh, uh, the work name Daily Eroticism. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's very early work. Yeah, I mean, but, yeah. you know, like, like what I'm seeing in website, uh like still there is not many like digital concept inside you know like it's more like like simple like more mm. like, simple explaining about your daily life like yeah. thing. but why i'm interested in this early work is because i mm -hmm. saw a lot of like like erotic concept and contents in your art like mm. several times in other like works, uh, for example, like you did uh, one time uh, exhibition, uh, like season one gallery, the Dijana mm -hmm. first exhibition, 
uh, together, right? Like several mm -hmm. years before, and you like you show like like dildo motion or something, yeah, like crystal dildo motion, right? The yeah, yeah, yo, 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 yeah, yeah. The the video, the round video, like make mixing, um, mixing the food processing machine and fucking machine together. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like made uh, like by crystal like put you know, like uh, like like yeah. architecture thing, right? So like and other things, I I saw a lot of like architect concepts. So I just want to ask, uh, what is for you like mean like eroticism and like why so many time you put this concept in, even in digital concept art mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, like for the work you mentioned, the daily eroticism, that's the, um, I think that's the different uh, erotic things that I used then, I, I used the, uh, after that, like the, you, you mentioned it before, the uh, machine topia or the, 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 um, the, the broken mirror dildo, they, they are totally different. Uh, concept I want to express. Like in the daily eroticism, uh, it's the just um, mm, the first, uh, the very simple practice for, like I'm, I want to recording mm, my normal daily life and uh, found if there are some elements to, rap, uh, to express eroticism. Mm. So, mm, but a uh, but, but later uh, in another <coughs> the other work called machine topia I I used the food processing machine and the packing machine all the footage uh, mixed together that one I want to explore human desires because uh, cause our human the most basic human desire is um, eating and sex and shudder. So like I mix the eating um and eating and and the sex together to express we human um the origin the origin de desire of human mm -hmm. and also want to try to um, try to create a channel to enter a uh, machine world because like machine. Cause I think, cause machine is created by human, but wh why people created machines and created more and more mach machines? They are based on their um, our humans' desires. We need a, we we create a machine, but we still have more desires, so we want more. Mm -hmm. So that's all based the desire. So uh, when I look at the human desire, I find I want to use the most. Uh, Mm, most origin, most original desires to express. Mm. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So, mm. uh, also, um, like for, um, I think I'm, um, how to say, I, I, sure, for sure, I'm interested in using erotic things in my work. Cause I uh, and sometimes I will put hum. Um, I found it is um, is like I want to put something humor in the like the humor things and the the, the like sex sexual things together mm -hmm. and to create a, a humor vibe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got it, got it. Just a sec. and but. Like I notice, like your early works, like mm -hmm. uh, include this one, like dairy eroticism and like wandering and human, like mono no mm -hmm. is not like too, like not too much like digital concept. It's more like more widely just like art concept, like looks like. But suddenly. Like some point you change like make a like digital concept like artworks a lot like I see. So what makes you mm -hmm. change to like different 
work start soon. Is there mm. any experience? Or yeah, I, I think because the because the environment, I, um, because uh, like you see, there are to, like a lot of um, there are big difference between the work I made in China and the the work I made in US. Mm. Like in China, I usually do the like uh, the uh, installation and the experimental film, like something um, uh director to shooting and editing and then like present and not use too much things on like like digital things and as uh, because like i want to express more media like in china i like first um maybe we can say like mm, my first uh, art media is painting and uh, drawing like mm. when i was young Mm. Then I will express more when I like grow up. Then I uh, then I try to make video and installation and performance. So when I um come to New York, I I still want to express more and more. So mm. I I try to make things digital. I try to make digital things and uh, also um, a lot of things. Uh, mixed together, like the uh, like uh, to like into a multimedia mm. um, tribe. Is it because of like school, like school? No, no, because no, no. Like I, I, I major in photography and video related media program, but mm. I always do things like there. Are the, there, I can see there are no one do the same thing as me when I was in the school. Mm, like yeah. they they usually do video and and photo, mm. but I do multimedia there. So, like and and I also I mm, I just want to try to express more media, and I will learn the like technical things uh, from other program. When I was in the photo uh, program, I mm. will go to other program to learn yeah. more technical things. Mm. and uh, learn more like like learn sound art and uh, 3d art things and uh, that's all can help me to do my own project mm -hmm. yeah so my work basically is like visual based work mm. but i uh but i don't have limitation on my media mm. so every time i will come up a a, 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 a every time when i come up an idea to make something mm. then i will try to like do more trying like try to uh, uh, try try a lot of uh, media to see what uh, what are gonna work and what doesn't work and i really also love your the the mass the machine calligraphy like paintings like machine creatures and i really love your work actually Thank so, you. yeah could, could you tell me a little bit your like in this work like backstory or like how did you decide to make this like three or why you start to make like calligraphy work by the machine you know? mm, you mean the the machine consciousness and yeah. the machine creature. Yeah, those right. Two work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's very. Uh, there is a very there is a very interesting experience in my normal life, and um, I I got a like I I robot the cleaning machine in my house, and once a day I found I didn't um I didn't. Oh, I, I didn't put a button. I didn't put a button on and I didn't do anything on it. And it just uh, automatically like start working mm. and it goes through all the, all, all the way. Mm. So that makes me think, is the robot alive? Is, is the robot have, uh, have, have its own consciousness mm. to like, <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I, and also I, like basically, machine should follow all the program like um, by people design. Like, uh, like they will go through um, 
if they are in the simple mode, they will go straight, uh, go directly or straight. Like they will just follow by the program programming. Mm. The like, mm, they will they will go straight, and once they meet the corner, then then they turn around to come back. So it's the it's a certain thing they how how they work. And but sometimes I found they like they were stuck in um, a corner or stuck in uh, in the middle of room that maybe there are not nothing surround surrounded. So mm -hmm. all the like all all the accident, accidental things made me think if machine has its own consciousness. Mm -hmm. So in the like machine consciousness, I just I want to express I I want to explore. Mm. Machine, machine. If if the machine has his has its own consciousness, mm. so I put the I put ink on the machine uh, on uh, on the on the machine brush mm. and um, put a canvas underneath, and the uh, and and the machine on it. I just um click the start button and mm. it start work, mm. and the. The, all the uh, like you can see the painting is all created by machine, mm. and also you can see there are something mm, something confused like some confused composition mm. happened. So that's what I want to um, capture, mm. and also and the, and the, um to like to show to show that there is something. Mm, that not not controlled by human happened, but uh, but my the, my aim is not to like confirm people to believe machine has its own consciousness, mm. but I only want to, um, but I only want to like uh, present the, this question to make people rethink about what's the difference between human and machine yeah. and. Uh, yeah, yeah, and 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 uh, and if hum if machine has their own consciousness, then if uh, our human has the consciousness, uh, uh, mm, is ourself or do a human con our human controlled by other things we don't know? Yeah, yeah. yeah so for the work, like in the final, I I uh, I usually put all the mm, the result of the the painting and the. Uh, side by the uh, the video the mm. video show machine painting the yeah. all the uh, process yeah 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 it's interesting like you know like it's like uh the really speciality like interesting for me is like that uh you use the like calligraphy you know like you know like for asian people like calligraphy they have really long story on Asian art history, so like, and people think about the like calligraphy itself, like, is like a life thing, you know, when people like mm. going like, it's, like making like swords inside and you know, art, so like, but when you're using like my like machine, like, we just randomly, like, just like radically, like, moving, like, same movement. But like still using a calligraphy, like yeah, exactly what I'm talking about. It's still life thing, but it's still not life thing. It's still digital thing, but it's still you know like like human. Yeah. So yeah, it, it was really interesting thing for me. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, yeah, that's that. What I want to try, like I mentioned before, I want to like mix uh, Western culture and Eastern culture together, because yeah. I had I have. I I learned calligraphy when I was very young. I know the the media very. I'm very familiar with the media, mm. and uh and also like the calligraphy is very traditional thing, mm. but the like technology is very advanced. The very mm, digital things. I just just want to try to like break all the boundaries between different media and the different culture. Mm. So I so I chose the calligraphy to do um to do uh like advanced uh at, at practice. Uh all right. Let's see your uh, cyborg 
orgy, right? Orgy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I, I saw like several times this art works and also, yeah, of course, I enjoy inside like, Right. Yeah, and I, I also show this work in in the uh, with you in the in the space car or the in oh. Brooklyn. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I saw yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And yeah, like I really and yeah. Could you tell me about this like story or also like I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this work. Uh, this work actually is the development or based on the work I mentioned before, the machine consciousness and machine creature. The like I want like in that work I explore the um, machine consciousness, but in this work I want to like develop more than I want to uh, explore more more things on human side, like if human. Um, becoming cyborg mm. like in in the before in the work before the machine consciousness and the machine creature i based on i explore more things on machine side mm. and here a uh, cyborg or i explore more things on, on human side and the final thing i want to explore is the um, relationship between human and machine and also the boundary between the brain in the world in mm. the world mm. why did you use uh, that huge balloon you know <laughs> yeah because um because i'm because mm, this work is rooted in human desires so uh, uh as i mentioned before human desire include uh, food and, and eating, sex, mm. and sh shatter. So mm. the bubble room represents a shatter. We need people because we people need a need a living space mm -hmm. to like have a um, warm space, and we need a warm space, and we need food, and we need that. Mm -hmm. That's the very basic things for people, and uh, all the people, all the human design is based on those two, uh, those three things, and develop to more other content mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so yes yeah, uh, yeah you uh, i don't i don't know if you remember you 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 saw the the machine topia video on the on the channel on the on the tunnel when you get into the bubble room mm. yeah that that's one is uh for is show human desires so that's the first entrance to uh to trans, um, to transport transport people from a normal life into a cyborg space. Mm. Yeah, and also if uh, when people get into the bubble room, they will like becoming the subject of the space. Cause I uh, I design the the space is a um, cyborg space, but the cyborg is invisible. No one can see a cyborg in it, but once every audience get into that, they will become the host. They will become the um, the subject, the um, the host of the bubble room, the host of the space, and the, as well as a cyborg mm. to have a experience as a cyborg. When they put on the VR glasses, mm. they 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 already become a cyborg. Oh, because nice. the like, cause the thing is the very technology and digital things, and uh, if like cyborg means the combination of um creature and uh, machine. Mm. So once people put on a digital things on their body, they already become a cyborg. Mm, got it. Uh, I understand. Like so, there there is a like a like in like you try to make a invert like environment for making people think about like the uh, like cyborg itself and also yeah. come back to humanism so like uh, going back with the like cyborg world like like change themselves inside and still like you know when they take up the VR thing or go out that 
like bubble house, they still like think about, oh, now I'm human. So like they, they got that kind of experience, right? Maybe you try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people will jump into the, like those two different experiences, jump mm -hmm. in and jump out. Yeah. And, and that's what I want to like make them feel and they will, and I, I want them to like think more. They, once they have, they got this experience, they will think, so, oh, am I a human or am I a machine now? Mm. So that's my, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The trip to the Earth. This is like, after you go back to like Shanghai and you make this artwork, right? This is in the old way I going back in China. This is what happened in the old way I going back in China. But mm -hmm. the story in, in that is not about going back in China, but about a peop, um, like a, a virtual um, a virtual me come to Earth, come to the Earth to have a journey, and then face the uh, face the cover happen. Mm -hmm. uh, like the story about the um, like is um, like I perform a cyberspace perform performance to create an AI version of myself, mm. and uh, like which also a symbol of all mankind, mm. and I simulate a story of me traveling to the Earth, mm. but countering um, the disaster and the the COVID nineteen situation. Right. And uh, and then finally, uh, like I found people are uh, mm, uh, all there are no people in the like normal life and in the world, but people okay. that later I found all people online. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But once uh, in in final once we don't have internet, we lost the internet, and the, all the things disappear. So the final question in here, I, I said, would the people disappear too when they? there's no internet mm. so yeah. it's also like to re reflect um the people situation uh, the human situation for now for nowadays oh yeah. like oh uh... like i like every people like becoming a uh, becoming cyborg they live in uh they live in internet they live mm. in cyberspace and they are less less and less um mm, less and less things happen in our Mm, ordinary life. Mm, 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 mm. Got it, got it. Like, uh, it mentioned like it shows us the cyberspace performance. So, what means cyberspace performance? Uh, how, how did you show this? Like, on video format or? Yeah, uh, I, will, I, I have two, like, two different uh, showing media, uh, include video and the and the photo like uh or or, or i i will say image image and the video like the cause the whole trip uh, take place on the internet and i just uh, use uh google uh google map or google search to do all uh, to do all my journey so all the whole journey is happen on on internet and the dig and the digitalized the Zoom meeting is the is the very is my personal experience when I was quarantined in New York, where uh, after mm. the COVID nineteen happened, because uh, there there's no party happened mm. like after that, so uh, there are some like some some people organized that party on Zoom, so mm. there is more than like more than two thousand people joining that. And mm. every uh, and everyone was just uh, partying in their own house, mm. but they just uh, opened the the camera and uh, just uh, like join the Zoom meeting together. Ah, uh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, it's very weird. Funny thing. Yeah, yeah, it's weird, but it's yeah, I know. Very funny. It's weird, like. You know, like still, there's a lot of like virtual community still, like, like now, even now this war, you can see there are a lot of virtual community, like you know, virtual party, virtual like, Zoom meetup, and you can join. But it's, it's it's true, like together on you know, like same time duration with people, but still, you know, like something loneliness, they are like halfway, you know, 
Like it's I know what what's mean. Mm. It's weird thing that was going on. Yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah, and also you can see in this in this photo, I I put myself in it. Did you found that? Yeah, it's in the corner. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love this one. Uh, all right. So mm -hmm. let's talk about like what's happened like in like your movement to New York to China and like what is big differences like between the environment different like, so uh, you say you know like because you go back to china is because of covid situation you say yeah yeah and you you yeah, still cause wanna, the COVID you still want to come back to new york or just stay you know like china like shanghai especially yeah for sure i want to come back in new york Really? I love, yeah, I, I love New York more. <laughs> really? Yeah, but I love the New York is the normal New York. So for now, New York is not, not, yeah, like uh, not, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Like, um, no. like almost, almost, um, like almost every, my friend got COVID in New York. Are you okay? Are you are you and your I'm, friends okay? I'm good. I'm good, but I have a lot of friends in here have COVID. I know. Yeah, yeah. People that sucks. Crazy. Yeah. So yeah. maybe I will. Yeah, maybe I will like waiting for more time to like let the days let everything getting better. Then I will come back. Yeah, like. I don't know. I mean, like, uh, while I'm staying in New York, like, COVID situation really bad, like, around two years here in New York, and around also, you know, like, recently, the, what is that, the new one, the... Uh, I, I, I also forgot that name, but uh, the new, new virus is very crazy. Ah, uh, what is that? The 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 model not not modella. What is that? The the well, the second way. Like like when that happened, you know, you can see like in the global arts, every like only Western country is like really like bad zone. Like but mm. like it looks like Asia, like Korea or Japan, like China, it looks like good. You know, not not so many like like affected people like groups so i saw like yeah but like maybe like you know i'm, I'm from korea so why, why i came to new york you know i cannot do our thing you know? so like i really, <laughs> yeah little bit have like how say little like have little little bit zeros to asian people you know like they can art thing they can do a party they can do a, like exhibition their country so I saw like China is like is very good environment for doing art. So yeah, for now sure. Yeah, for now China is the, uh, I think it's a good environment to to do everything. Like mm -hmm. not even for art and also for party or well, everything happens like normally. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. Yeah. So I I think you can stay <laughs> in China. You know. Like, yeah. Yeah. I I yeah. For now I will stay more because everything is normal here. And but I still like the environment, like like New York bring me freedom. In China, pe every people has the has the same aims to live, like uh like just uh, earning money and mm. uh, get more um, reputation. Mm. But in I I think in New York I can do my own things like no no judgmental from others but in china they are all of judgmental uh, but so I, that's what i like new york more like why i like new york more i i know like what you're talking about i don't know like i know like korea like i spent like you know i'm from korea and also i spent in japan also mm -hmm. but still that country that that country also opened like the art thing but still mm -hmm. you know like 
basically atmosphere and people are thinking is like strict, like more traditional Asian thing. I, I know what what you mean, like mm. maybe China or something. Mm. But but yeah. you know, like especially now, you know, like especially in Korea, they say like you know because their economy and like culture thing is global wide and people start to like have interested about our thing like then usually so uh i hear in korea they have a lot of like art support and or, like our arts institution and also like new art fairs going on like start so i think china also same thing nowadays people more interested about art thing and like there's more art support thing so I think so like some some sometimes you know like looks it's good for you know good environment for the like Asian people, you know, like like mm-hmm. us doing like our art thing in the Western mm-hmm. country, you know, like some benefits like a little bit different. So mm-hmm. so but still you wanna some point you wanna come to New York some point. So, yeah. Oh. Is there like total differences between like when you live in New York and like when you now you live in China? Is totally difference like in life system and also doing create like creating things like art thing was like different? Mm, I don't think it's totally different. Mm. Uh, I think it's maybe much more convenient to live in China because mm. we have like um, all the things. And everything is very advanced mm. and is uh, can like it's very enough to people living mm. here. Mm. Yeah. Um when you're talking about is more New York is the atmosphere, like people mind thinking is more freedom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I think it is yeah. uh how to say, let's say um Living in China is like for basic, basic life. But if I want to have more spiritual experience, I will, I will think that I can go more freedom in New York. Mm. So that's, that, that's for my spiritual chasing, but not, not for like, mm, for the normal life, it must be more convenient to live in China. Mm. But I want more in my spiritual world. Yeah, yeah. I have many times a little bit fight with police, you know, <laughs> like there's some like rules in street, but still police really know about street art. Some police like a lot, I, I can do a street art, but some police say that this is rude. But, but every citizen say, yeah, let's do a more, let's do a more, this is art, you know, like, but I cannot do that thing in Korea or Japan, you know, if you want to do or like art thing, mm. you need to find like art situation in that. Yeah, country. yeah. But in New York, you can do whatever, wherever you want. Yeah, really? yeah, that's the interesting thing yeah. I can, like, I, I also found uh, from like the New York place me. Yeah, in China, same we can. We we usually to, we usually have to find a art system to present our art. Yeah. But yeah. not like this, like just a freestyle way to present art is is not common here. But in New York, everything gonna happen. Mm. Yeah, I understand. Like like more here is more like connect to society and art together. There is no border. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is what I I agree totally. But like, you know what? Like now nowadays, New York is you know like a little bit different yeah. than before because mm-hmm. COVID situation. So you cannot, of course, do or like uh, street art not so many times. You know, like because you care about you know infection. Yeah. Or COVID. So even me and a lot of people doing you know like like digital art world and you know like mm-hmm. NFT things. Yeah, like, me as well. Yeah. <laughs> So like, I hope a little bit more COVID situations going down in New York. And so this means I can do, you know, like more, even digital art, I can do like local, you know, like New York situation because New York is more, you know, like globally, like last 
like divorced in a lot of countries, you know, like you and me, like me together. So I hope yeah. they come back. And of course, I hope you come back like someday and we can collaborate. Yeah, I definitely will come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. Question like, so could you tell me what is your next vision? And is there any your next goal or next thing you want to make? So now I'm trying to like make my, cause that thing is, I, I found the one I come back in China. Like I need to fit in the new system. Like in China, in Shanghai, like the society system is kind of different in New York. And uh, like people, uh, uh, and um, I need to do more collaborate with other, well, with people from other area. Mm. And like after I got, I, I, after I host the, the birthday party and I started to like trying to make my uh, video and my, my, my facial work in uh, to uh to um, to like in a performing way mm. so i start to experience doing dj mm. yeah and that's the uh, that's also what i think if i should do another like dj performing in our the the live stream out there. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, uh, <clears throat> yeah, cause I never tried the things before. Cause, um, so I want to try, like try to do that and uh, see what's gonna happen, what the interesting thing will be, will be, will happen. Yeah, yeah. I hope you use, you know, like Dijana or like, like, you know, like chance and environment, just whatever you want, you know? Like yeah. our community is for like participate every artist. Just don't think about it. Our other audience. Mm. Just focus on whatever really fucking inside you want. You know, like th that is our community. Yeah, that's why I that's why I like to like collaborate with you every time. Oh, thank so, you. So much. Like totally, totally free. Thank to you so much. Yeah, totally free. Totally free. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, sometimes you're gonna lose your friends because of that. But <laughs> thank you so much. yeah, yeah oh, thank you for having me. Oh, thank you so much. This is my pleasure. Thank you. And really, I hope you come back to it someday. And of course, anytime, just virtual, you know, like collaboration, anytime, like contacting, I'm always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, uh, everyone. Uh, this time we have a artist named Jay. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you.